Shalom, Shalom. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I came here to talk about um, our diet, which is my current struggle. Um, I think the Lord has put in my heart to go vegan or vegetarian. And when the Holy Spirit first put in my heart to um, like a disgusting feeling every time I see a red meat like steak which I used to love because um, I'm Asian I like stir fry um, steak uh, with vegetables but a um, few seasons back the Holy Spirit has put in my heart to stop eating red meat um, before that Holy Spirit convicted me of pork um, because my uh, ethnicity is South Korean and Asians love pork um, South Koreans love pork belly and um, you know how the Lord speaks to us through many different ways uh, through signs and wonders sometimes audibly or he speaks through um, different people and um, I was getting convicted of uh, pork um, when I went back to Guam to visit my family <coughs> last year and my grandma knew how much I love pork belly and you know and I knew that this was from the Lord because there was no spirit of fear but assurance and conviction in the heart when I opened the fridge and look at the pork belly I keep getting a sign um, you know going through YouTube there's no coincidence but coincidentally a picture of pig and how dirty they are and you know some people might say that um it's legalistic i may i'm going falling into legalism and condemnation and you know in new testament peter or paul said anything that we eat uh we bless in the name of the lord is um considered clean but um well, I ask that you um, ask the Lord for discernment and pray about it to the Lord yourself. But we are Israelites. We are children of God. We are called to be set apart. We are not to eat like the Gentiles, wear or look like the Gentiles, um, like the world. I mean, um, talk like the gentiles or think like the gentile the lord cares every little thing about us because he's a jealous god and even with food um and i personally struggle with fasting and the lord is really working in me and um in this matter i may be a hypocrite but some like because sometimes i rebel against the lord uh, fighting him to let go of certain food like um instant noodles um my south korean part instant noodle and um like i was i attempted to go on daniel 40 day daniel fasting trying to go uh vegetarian eating fruit and vegetables without no meat with a sister in christ and i miserably failed um in week three i think i like secretly behind my sister's back i went to panda express and um ate meat and my body was craving meat like crazy and i want to say that you cannot fast or overcome your sin or addiction any willful sin even meat or any food that you really like that you have hard time giving up without prayer prayer really works and um 
just humbly ask the Lord to help you make sure your heart is right make sure you're not fasting for wrong reason to lose weight I know it's a great feeling you're dropping some pounds but um, just make sure your heart is right I was um, asking the Lord I'm still asking him I do uh, really sometimes my flesh just wants meat and um, especially when like stress eating I had a binge eating disorder since my early 20s um, overeating or starving overworking out conceited insecure uh, body dysmorphia trying to meet the standard of this world um, where was I going with this um, yeah Uh, yeah, especially for girls before um, PMS, before period, we crave like sweet, salty things. And um, like for me too, or when I am depressed, lonely, and or tested uh, of my perseverance, patience, and I fail and give in to my emotion. And I sometimes without going to the Lord go deliberately to food and I would um, overeat which is gluttony um, I did not know that when I just became born again but the Lord uh, corrected me and you know many churches they don't teach about gluttony overeating eating for pleasure which I am working on myself but um, I know that many churches, even my family's church, do not preach about having fasting life. And I myself may be hypocrite in this area because I, I am still working, God is still working in me and struggling. I think it's hard for everyone to have a consistent fasting life, um, especially when I'm used to eating chocolate, hot Cheetos, and all this processed carbs, especially for young people. Um, eating for emotion, eating um, out of emotion like lonely, depression, anger, uh, stress. Um, yeah, I was going, I lost track of my thoughts, but... Um, the work the Lord is working in me on my fasting and my diet um, really your faith is tested as you get more and more mature in the Lord your faith is tested like how Abraham uh, was asked to give up Isaac on the altar first it started off with makeup head covering pants jewelry um, now my fate is being tested even giving up certain friends and I may be rejected and made fun of because of how I look I don't wear makeup anymore no jewelry and I go work out with long skirts which I've been really insecure fighting the Lord going back and forth with pants and even head covering but it took time for me too it took um, a <coughs> year and a half backsliding go back and forth but I want to say God is so faithful and patient with us. Um, I rebelled and I was rebelling against the Lord. Um, envying those worldly Christians that, are, that I do not know yet. I'm sure the Lord will have mercy on them and is working on them. Um, I'm a work in progress. And now, recently, the Lord is, um, I believe God is calling all His children to stop eating red meat. And I thought, first I got convicted with pork, and recently with red meat. I didn't know about chicken, but God made that clear 
about um, when I had a boiled egg at work and um, like a cold Kobe Jack cheese sticks from work. I wasn't sure because my sister in Christ said something about egg and what they're doing to these animals giving um, st uh, steroids or DNA modifying and God does not want us to eat those things because our body is holy temple and even you know how the jab could uh, change our um, DNA and stuff we are living in a really evil wicked last days we gotta test all things and ask the lord for discernment more than ever because they're doing something to our food especially meat um the lord has spoken through the mouth of my brethren um and it led me i knew about this but it led me to look it up myself 70 over 70% 70 of our food comes from a factory animal these animals are trapped never see light they are confined in a small area they were born to be bred and um, abused they don't run around in green pastures no freedom um, that's why even milking cows dairy cheese the Lord wanted me to give up because when I had uh, boiled eggs and, uh, you know, meat stick from dollar store and uh, cheese sticks, that night I had horrible nightmare. And um, it was so horrible. Uh, I cannot share details, but um, God made it clear. He put a living fear in my heart. I'm still fighting over um, coffee creamer. I don't know about uh coffee i don't want to stumble you guys i believe the lord is calling me to give up coffee as well even energy drink or coffee anything with caffeine that gives us energy our strength has to come from the lord not these monster drinks or red bull coffee i believe any addiction even food is a sin and you know um coffee and creamer creamer comes from milk i think and they're doing evil things to our food, um, genetically modifying these animals. And imagine these animals trapped in a dark place, born to be bred and um, just confined in a small area, extremely stressed. And we eat that animal that is um, gen genetically modified and extremely stressed. Um, we put that in our holy temple. And i believe that god is working in all of us i don't know what season you guys are in but god is calling me and two of my brethren sisters in christ that i know to stop eating red meat pork is considered unclean and even fast food none of the junk food i did not know um God is really changing me. Junk food is basically garbage. And our temple is a um, holy temple. And we're just disposing garbage junk in our body. And and um, God is working in me. I know it is hard for girls. Especially young people or those that have sweet tooth. And I sometimes tend to binge eat with healthy food. And... And binge eating is basically gluttony and the Lord hates it. He rebukes me, convicts me, and disobedience is witchcraft. And if I die in my sin like this, I believe that I will go to hell. And once save, always save is a false doctrine. But have faith, my brethren. Um, the Lord will finish a good work that He has begun in us. And I have been getting a few emails from you guys, uh, my sister, beloved sisters in Christ about your head covering and long skirt and you feel lonely wherever you are. Um, you don't feel welcome in the church, but I'm not here to say don't go to church and cause division. 
you're not alone. I am also feel lonely, sometimes made fun of, or feel re- I get rejected too. We are called to be rejected and set apart and to look different. The Lord is purifying us, refining us, and um, making us spotless for our bridegroom, Jesus Christ, before his second coming. And um, I know sanctification is a very slow and painful process. And our faith is being tested. It's not always easy, this walk. There's a period of grace and also um, trials, tribulation, and it's just so painful to be sanctified. But everything happens for a reason. And we know that all things work together for good to those that are, to those that love God, to those that are called according to His purpose. Romans eight twenty eight. Um, I keep losing train of my thoughts, but um, I do believe, my brethren, the Lord is calling us out to stop eating red meat and um, pork. Um, I think he's calling me out to eat, stop eating bottom feeders, which is shrimp and uh, crabs, all those shellfishes. And you may say that that's legalism and I'm being a Pharisee, but I ask you guys to take it up to the Lord. Um, the Lord wants what's best for us and he looks after his own and i believe i'm being called to be vegan and i'm really struggling myself please pray for me and keep me in your prayer so that i may have a consistent uh praying and faster lifestyle and i will keep you guys in prayer as well i love you guys and i wanted to let you know you guys are not alone especially my sisters in christ that are insecure and god is working in you to give up the makeup and for you to wear head covering and long dress even to work out at all times you are not alone i've been there and it took time stay encouraged my brethren